welcome to this week's BCTV. Now this week, feet firmly back on the ground after last week's balloon flight at the Royal Show in Stoneley, and we've got a great show for you this week. That's right. This week I went along to an under fives road safety day held recently at Borsall Heath, and of course we've got the lovely Marverine here as well with her usual ground up of entertainment in Birmingham in the Pulse. Yes, and I went to the NEC to the Mini World Exhibition to find out why people really do fall in love with the little mini car, and they do, believe you me. And also, Graham David went out and about to try and meet people who spend their spare time doing something just that little bit different. Here he is in Odd Passions, part one. So, episode one of Odd Passions, what people do in their spare time to amuse themselves, to interest themselves, and to generally have a damn good time. I've obviously come to Shepwell Green. Why? Come in and have a look. owns the club and as you can see Alan's a bit of a rock and roller as well so uh, Alan how, how's all this been going on now? At, at this club now it's been going on uh, about uh, four, years, four years we started off with a rock and roll we should and just tried because no one else had it to do all the other we saw the old rock and roll do you think that um, the, the people out there kind of live the life uh, or do they just come along on a Monday night and, and dress up? No, they live the life. They live the life. Come on, they'll be somewhere else. Rock and roll's my life. And it's also my wife's life and all. Richard, yeah. the mad drummer. So this is a hell of a place you've got here. This is one of our better, better dressing rooms. Beats the toilets. <laughs> so you've got a, a lot of gigs on, you were telling me. Yeah, we are. We're fully booked for the whole of 97. Already taking bookings for 98. Um, it's a very lively scene up and down the country. We travel, we are in Derby the other night, we've been playing down in Kent this weekend and, and in the West End of London as well. Keith, you're the, the, the singer in the band? Yeah, the singer, front man, lead guitarist, whatever you like to call me. So you, you were formed as a band in 1990, was it? Uh, yeah, it was. It started off as a busking band, just Richard and Tony on our ace on bass and me, we was busking in the street. Alan, my brother, he says, come up to Wales, we'll play some gigs with a sax so we bought a PA system went up there and uh, did a couple of gigs and thought well we need a rhythm guitarist and this is where Mr Simon Presley come in and uh, it's all history from there you obviously wear the gear as the band but everybody outside's all dressed up as well is it the fashion is it the lifestyle the music it's it's a style that never died it, it, it really it's still it, it's very lively very contagious you'll see later when you see us on stage it's um it's good fun and it's very much good clean fun. We enjoy it totally and uh, so do the audience. You see them dressed up. One, two! <laughs> this is Jackie. And Jackie, it's all your fault that we're here, isn't it? Sure is. Because you are a smidge interested in rock and roll, right? I'm slightly interested in rock and roll, yeah. So how, how far back did your interest go? My dad used to play it. I used to play the Bilali records on a Sunday. 
and I've sort of grown into it when I was 12, so it's like nearly 20 years now that I've been into it. What is the, the, the real buzz? Because I mean, I, the atmosphere out there is incredible, isn't it? It's just the music. You know, I mean, like, we all enjoy it. We, none of us take drugs or anything like that. We just really get into it. No, it's just the music. It's just like the buzz to us. So is this, is this, like, a, is this like a hobby or is this a lifestyle? Well, my mum and dad said it was a phase I was going through, <laughs> and it's a very long, it's a long phase. phase, isn't it? That is. But the men keep still, don't they? The women do all the work. All the men does is move the feet just to go round in a circle. It's mainly the the wrist, the arm action, and the wrist that keeps the lady in beat. But it is the lady who has to work really. Well, so the man has to keep the woman in time. Yeah. So there is some responsibility. Just a little bit. I, I thought I could just stand there and do my own thing while you're doing spinning. Well, we women do make you men look good, yes. This <laughs> is a fantastic opportunity to live your childhood all over again. But this time you can afford it. That's what it's all about. You haven't got a rock and roll vest and pants on, have you? <laughs> well, I have to say, that was nothing like I expected. Loads of people, loads of energy. Yeah, not bad.